in a simple sense, what are we all doing here? What are we all confused about? What are we trying to accomplish? What we're trying to accomplish is collectively, me, you, all of us here on Earth, dig ourselves out of the hole that we've chosen to be in. Take one choice, multiply it by how many people are on this Earth, and multiply it by how long we have been on this Earth. However many choices that would be trillions whatever's past trillions I don't even know of choices that have dug this hole that we are all trying to dig ourselves out of now why am I sick why are we sick collectively why is everything so backwards why can't things be better all these sort of things it's because of the dark hole that we've dug ourselves into by our power of choice it's what all the confusion is about misguided nature of things where you try things and they don't work you got people selling something hey they say it works oh I tried it, it doesn't work it's because it's part of the confusion and the darkness <laughs> that we've dug ourselves into the truth the way and the life is simple the truth is love the way is peace and the life is light in this world life grows towards the light Plants grow towards the light, we grow towards the light, everything grows towards the light. Sounds religious, right? We don't need to get into that realm. That's the simple side of things. The truth, the way, and the life. And how do we start digging ourselves out of this hole? That starts with each individual one of us. We sit ourselves down and humble ourselves before creation. Just things are created in this world you know I was born into this world plants are born into this world animals are born into this world so uh, the creative energy and process we humble ourselves before that and admit that we know very little admit to ourselves that we are lost in our own belief system programming that has taken place over however long you've been alive for me it's 32 years 33 years coming up rigid beliefs beliefs that are like stone let's say they were concrete at first I poured them they were they were kind of kind of more wet at first malleable and then they were poured into molds and became rigid belief systems, statues that I hold in my mind. This is how it is. Tear down those statues. They're false idols, false beliefs. Are all of them lies? No. The lies are layered over the truth though. We start chipping away at those things, chipping away at those outer lies that we live in, each one of us. And we find the truth. Where do you find the truth? In you. The way. The truth. The truth is the love. <laughs> there we go. Coming full circle here. Nice. Uh, the truth is the love. When you chip away at all that junk, you find the truth in you. The truth is love. And the way is a peaceful life, peaceful, simple life. And the, that life, that life is the light. When you find that truth in you and you're living by the way, the light starts shining out of you, radiating out of each one of us. And life gets easier. <laughs> Buy my program for Fifty nine ninety five four installments and life gets easier. <laughs> uh, that whole thing. In any case, when you know the truth, you share it freely as well. I don't. I don't share this to 
condemn, I don't condemn, I don't convert. This is the calling, have you heard? Bring all the lovers to the fold. No one is gonna lose their soul. All my days I've been searching to find out what this life is worth. Not in a book did I find it. Searching in my mind, something like that. It's love. Love is my religion. <laughs> Thank you, Ziggy. Um, any additional thoughts, notes, scanning databanks? I think that's about it. Yeah. That's the hardest part, is facing your fear, facing my fear. Sitting down here, looking at myself. I got a reflection here. Um, not super clear, but I'm looking out a window right now. So I can see myself in that reflection. And can you look at yourself straight straight in the eyes and when that darkness in us starts to squirm because it gets hard to face that truth that it's in us the lies and the darkness that have clouded our minds confused our minds weakened our bodies and blocked our spirits when we face that, that's where you find the peace. So, on that note, peace and love to you all infinitely <laughs> in this life and anything beyond it. Have a nice day. Bye.